welcome back Jiu Jitsu 2000 here today I'm coming at you with an interesting video for you today today I want to talk about backpacking okay now more specifically I want to talk about cookware that we're gonna take backpacking or bushcraft type cookware and let's take that a step further let's talk about bushcraft cookware on a budget now let's go one step further than that Walmart okay so we're gonna talk about buying bushcraft cookware on a budget at Walmart so yeah basically what I want to do is I want to buy the best cookware possible for the least amount of money and I want something that's gonna hold up really well that I can use very well out in the field okay so the first one I'm gonna show you again I bought all this stuff at Walmart and as I introduce them I'm gonna go from the least expensive to the most expensive okay and I'll show you what, what I'm doing here the first one is called Emusa, I-M-U-S-A, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. This is a small aluminum pot with lid. See that, Emusa? It's got a handle, and the handle's riveted on. Very solid rivets. You can take the lid off. Very, very simple. I paid $6.97 for this pot. This piece comes out. You know, I don't know, you could probably use this for maybe if you cook some pasta or something you want to pour the water out and keep the content inside or, or to, uh, to drain your ground beef or whatever you got to do but it's, it's nice because it has all the little holes in there it's got a nice little handle it's riveted on very nice little pot when I first bought this I was kind of skeptical I thought you know for seven bucks you really I thought it was going to be real cheap I bought it had it for about a year and I ended up buying another one. I'm really happy with this product. It's worked great for me. I highly recommend it. It's a good sized pot. I can cook plenty of stuff in it. Got the nice handle. Pick it up off the fire, no problem. Let's go to the next one. Okay, this is aluminum. I wanted to get something that would last a little longer. Not that the aluminum broke down. The aluminum still works good. But I wanted something a little stronger. I wanted something stainless steel. So for $7.47, I picked up this. This was referred to as a utensil dispenser. And when I bought it, it had a plastic insert inside so that you could sit it on your counter at home in your kitchen and you could put all your utensils, spoons, knives, things like that. Now, I've had this. I bought this at the same time that I bought this. And I've used them both crazy. I mean, I've put them over fire and I've... I purified water in them and I just use the crap out of them. This one again, you can see that there's a little bit of uh, discoloration on the inside, but that's because I boil all of my water. I mean, we're talking hundreds of gallons of water I boiled. I've had these for about a year now, and they both have held up remarkably well. I'm very, very happy. Um, you might be wondering about this. You know, how do you pick it up? It doesn't have a handle. Well. I have some of these pot holders. You can buy these at a lot of your backpacking stores and you can use them to hold hold your pots. They work really good. Just grab them right out of uh, right out of the fire. They're made out of aluminum. They're like four or five dollars. This one's made by Coogan's, I think. I have another one that's it's an MSR one. But yeah, you can pick this thing up right off the fire, set it over there, no problem. This is another one, okay, this one's made by MSR. This one's probably $12 or something like that. Same thing, you know, you can pick this thing up and it handles your pots, no problem. Works really well. So that was my second option. Uh, again, I paid $7.47 for this one, so basically 50 cents more than the, uh, than the aluminum version. So then I got to looking and I saw this other option. $22.47 it's referred to as a stainless steel canister set now this has eight pieces in it it basically has four different sizes with lids so it's got a one quart pot 1.8 quart pot a 2.8 quart pot and a 3.9 quart pot the lids are glass and you can see that around the glass there's this rubber thing which personally I didn't think 
I didn't think was that big of a deal. I like to take it off because, in my opinion, when you put this thing over a fire, I, I would think that this rubber thing might melt. I don't know. I'm going to have to do some testing on that and see how it holds up because I just bought this. But it's the same kind of manufacturing as in that $7.47 pot, which I love. That thing works great. So there's the lid without the thing. And it's, it's all stainless steel. Has has glass lid. Not that I'd be wanting to carry around the glass lid everywhere, but this is the largest one. Again, it has this little insert that goes around. And that's basically to make it fit tight onto the pot. See, when you put that in, you can just lift the pot up by the hand, by the, by the lid. And it gives it a, an airtight, watertight seal. One thing that I liked was this, six, uh, this 747 pot, I call it by the price, right? This one fits right inside. Kind of like that option. So I'm just kind of adding to my bushcraft uh, cookware here. Okay, now let's let's look at the next size. This is the next size. This is the let me think here. That this one here was the 3.9 quart, and this one here is the 2.8 quart. Okay, so again, it's a nice pot. They're all stainless steel. I'm very very happy with this purchase. I, I just I just know without a doubt that they're going to work really well. See again, the lid goes in, holds it. I'll probably end up taking those rubber things off, throwing them away. I don't know. Put them aside. I don't know. So again, I've got my big one. I've got my second one. It's right inside. Let's look at the third one right here. This, this one is a 1.8 quart. Again, it has a lid with it. The lid fits in there. The handle stainless steel, glass lid. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cookware. I'm, I'm just, I'm just really excited about it. So there's the two. That one fits right inside. And last but not least is the one quart stainless steel. I mean, you could use this for sipping coffee. You could use it for keeping some water purified. You could use it for light cooking. And it, again, it's stainless steel. Also came with another uh, lid. That lid didn't want to hold on. <laughs> That's the only one that didn't. All the other ones did. Like I said, though, I'm probably going to take those rubber things and throw them out. But yeah, let's put it right inside. So, you got four pots in there. Then I take the smallest lid, and the way it came when I bought it was the smallest lid was upside down. And then the second size lid was upside down third size lid was upside down and then the final lid was right side up so you have four you have eight pieces in there I mean I was I was just really really happy about this it's known as a canister set again it was twenty two dollars and forty seven cents and um, you know you're probably wondering just just like with the other pots you can use these these holders they just clamp right onto the side of the pot there. You can lift them right out of the fire. You know, I would suggest that if you have something this large on the fire, say you're boiling water or something here, I would recommend having two holders to carry it instead of just relying on one because that might be a bit heavy for one of these holders. But yeah, you've got your holders. Everything fits inside. And last but not least, again, the one that I have here, the $7.47 one, fits right inside there. So this is basically my cookware, you know, $22.47 plus $7.47, and then you buy a couple of these, you're set. You can do all the cooking you want. But don't 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 be discouraged from this guy too. This this thing is really really good. It's a lot lighter and it works just as well. One more thing that I forgot to mention is when you take these lids off, take everything out, and you look inside, you can see that in the very very bottom one, I, I have a little bit of room for storage, and I put my my pot holders in there. 
so they fit right down in the bottom no problem my lids all three lids go upside down and again the last one's right side up so I just thought that that might be useful for you to know okay here's a couple things here's a little packages of matches there's a uh, 32 per box 10 boxes 320 matches for a dollar I think we'll put that in the cart and I want to show you these little containers okay these are called a grease dispenser and these are aluminum they're very good pots a lot of your backpackers they use these I swear up and down that these are good buy six dollars and ninety seven cents for these so yeah we'll go ahead and pick one of those up and throw it in Okay, now normally we would want some kind of cooking container, uh, something stainless steel, but we're looking at these and these are $22 and that's because there's like eight pieces in there. So right next to it, down a couple notches, there's this stainless steel utility utensil holder, 747. This is pretty cool. We're going to pick one of those up. We can use that as a brush craft pot. This can go directly over the fire. We can use it to purify water. We can cook in it. So we're going to pick that up. Okay, so here's another view of my of my stuff here. I've got my my pot supports. I have my six dollar ninety seven cent aluminum pot, seven dollar forty seven cents uh, stainless steel pot, and then I have my four pieces that came in that kit again twenty two dollars and forty seven cents for those not bad at all I'm really happy with it so anyway I want to say thank you everybody for watching I hope you found this video useful I hope you found some good information here as always please feel free to comment like share thumbs up Subscribe, and have a beautiful day, everybody. We'll see you next time. Now go out and get yourself some inexpensive bushcraft pots. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.